Hey YouTube, thanks here. This is my first video. Um, basically, I had to get my face out here to talk about my collection. The Anger Video Game Nerd, who's a YouTube um, you know, channel holder, he pretty much inspired me to get my face out there. Also, L Luke Morse 1. Both those guys, I feel like I'm related to them, and I never even met them. That's how much I watch their channels. So, if you're not subscribed to them and you're into video game collecting, then... I suggest you uh, definitely find them and add them. Um, I'm subscribed, so I'm, if you want, you can just check and you'll find them. Basically, I'm a computer nerd. Uh, I work for a computer programming company. Um, I spend all my money on video games and my girlfriend, but mostly video games, which, thank God, she's okay with. <laughs> um, if you look behind me right there, you'll see that I got an arcade behind me. That's custom-built MAME. Um, it's my first one. I'm not, you know, I'm proud of it, of course, but I'm not too attached to it. You know, I want something better. I, I feel that I could do a lot better than this, but, um, I learned a lot and, you know, it's pretty badass. What it is, is it's, it's a Space Invader, I bought a Space Invaders arcade cabinet, um, just the wood, nothing inside, just wood. And, um, I sanded her down, painted it black. I filled it with a, a PC that I built from scratch, you know, for cheap. I loaded that up with MAME. And then uh, I just bought myself a television and pulled it out of the plastic and put it in. And that's basically it. It also has the Dreamcast in there because my number one uh, specialty is fighters. So I wanted to concentrate on every fighter. And not the main, unfortunately, doesn't play them all. So a lot of the Dreamcast ones, such as, um, let me just look. Let's see. Capcom vs. SNK2. King of Fighters 2001, Gallery Mark of the Wolves, um, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, oh, that's actually Double Impact, that's Third Strike, Capcom vs. SNK, Project Justice, um, the King of Fighters Trilogy, which is 2000, 2002, and 99, and then, you know, Power Stone, and uh, the granddaddy, in my opinion, where is it? Marvel's Capcom 2. Now, I'm not saying that's the best game, but when it comes to my friends and that, and and playing, you know, we all we all have that in common. So I guess that's the the main game that it plays at the moment. But yeah, so I don't know how much it. I, I would say it cost me probably around four to five hundred dollars total to build it, um, which is in my opinion, nothing for what I get out of it. Um, you know, it's the main point of the house. Whenever I have friends over, everyone comes and plays it. You know, they, there's so many games to choose from that really everyone's favorite game is probably on there. If not, you know, they can always go into my living room and pick something else to play. But, um, yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, talk about that. And then um, basically in response to the videos that I've been watching on YouTube, like I said, I just had to, you know, rant about what I have so far, so I want to show off my full collection, um, I'm gonna, it's in the other room, so I have to, this is on my laptop, so I have to sort of rotate it, it might get a little dizzy, so just bear with me if you could. So we're going into my living room, you know, starting off right here, let's see, yeah, there it is, you'll notice the virtual boy just chilling. Virtual Boy's awesome system, regardless of what anyone says about how it failed. Believe it from me. Take it from me. It's, it's awesome. And going over here is my main collection. This, these two shelves came from a um, game store that was closing, so I offered them money for the shelves, and they took it. And um, let me just go through it real quick for you. Starting at the top. We have, you know, some action figures, bobbleheads. The Neo Geo box, which is um, a must-have if you know you want any kind of value back on your income in your investment. That right there is a custom PS3 joystick that I built um, for the PS3 to cater to my Street Fighter 4 addiction. You know, because I honestly think all the joysticks that are you know, on the market for the PS3 are all loose and they all suck, really. Even the Hori one, that one will shit all over it. And then um, moving down, you know, some Neo Geo CD games, which is funny because I don't even actually own the Neo Geo CD. I ordered it off eBay like six weeks ago, and it still hasn't come yet. So the games actually came before the system, which is hilarious in my opinion. And this is some Virtual Boy stuff. 
going through. Sorry if it's, you know, wobbly. That's the King of Fighters 95, Fatal Fury 2. All for the, these two are for the Neo Geo, and I highly suggest both those games. And these are just some random Nintendo games that survived my childhood, which is pretty amazing. And then down a little bit more, see if you can see it. I got the PSP and the DS. Then I have that right there is the Neo Geo Pocket Color, which is my favorite handheld. Even though I have the PSP, uh, you know, hacked or whatever, and it's got all that stuff, the Neo Geo Pocket Color is just so classic, and it's so awesome. And this thing down here under, under it is the Rumble Pack, which is pretty cool. And then um, I highly... Highly recommend if you don't have, if you have the Neo Geo Pocket Color and you don't have the match in the Millennium Capcom vs SNK or SNK vs Capcom, I mean, then I would definitely recommend that game. And um, King of Fighters, Metal Slugs, they're all awesome. Moving on, some Game Gear. I got two of them actually. Can you see them? Yeah, there we go. And then just some other games, and that's pretty much it so far. But again, you know, the collections. The collection's always improving by the day. I mean, I go to my mailbox every day. There's something. So, you know, from now on, if I get a package, I'm going to, um, you know, unbox it on camera for you guys so that way we can, you know, go through it together. And from now on, any game that I open, you know, I'm going to do a review on so you guys know. And if you have any questions about any kind of collecting, retro gaming, modern gaming, fighters in particular, anything like that, it's a little crooked. Anything like that at all, just um, you know, shoot me a message or post a post a comment, and I'll definitely get back to you. So, um, with that being said, I guess that's the end of uh, this first podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe, and um, I'll continue to bring you more. Also, I wanted to just end it with real quick. If you've never seen a Neo Geo, which is really my biggest passion, it looks like this. This is a Japanese one. Um, I got it off eBay, roughly 270, I would say, 250 maybe, with the box and uh, two arcade sticks, which is pretty rare. Um, the original arcade sticks are pretty badass. And um, also the collection, I didn't actually have this in there because I wanted to show this one personally because this is my favorite game that I own. Um, it, it is the rarest game I own, and it probably is in the best condition out of all the games I own. So with that being said, here it is. If you can't see, which I'm sure you can, it says SVC Chaos, SNK vs. Capcom. Now, if you ever heard of the SNK vs. Capcom series, there's kind of different ones. There's Capcom vs. SNK, which was made by Capcom. Then there's SNK vs. Vers Capcom, which was made by SNK. And that's what this is. This is the original for the Neo Geo. Um, there was a few ports made for different systems, different games, but um, this is the original, the all, the most, the big daddy original, and this is highly sought after. So, if you are highly into Neo Geo and you don't have this game, I would definitely suggest finding it. Um, so, with that being said, I'm going to sign off. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks out.